in RGS Online September 2018 release, we have added some new analytical tools. In this demo, I would like to show you two of these new tools. The Find Point Clusters tool, as well as the Summarize Center and Dispersion tool. First, the Find Point Clusters tool, which is a clustering method. When we talk about clustering, we refer to the technique that groups observations based on similarities of values or locations. And the Find Point Clusters tool groups features based on locations and user-specified cluster size. It is a density-based clustering method and uses machine learning algorithms to find clusters based on the spatial distribution of a set of points. It separates input data into clusters and noise. Here is an example. We have on the map about 150,000 crime incidents located in Los Angeles area. We're going to analyze the spatial distribution of these crime incidents using the two new tools available in RGS Online. First, I'm going to use the Find Point Clusters tool to identify crime patterns in my study area. So I'm going to start the tool, uh, which is located under Analyze Patterns, and then provide the input, which is the crime incidents for Los Angeles area. I also need to provide uh, the minimum points that I would like to consider for each cluster. So in my case, uh, I choose 150 points, and then and go ahead, run this analysis. After the analysis is completed, the result layer is added to the map. It reveals where crime incidents are concentrated and where they are separated by areas that are empty or sparse. Points which are not part of a cluster are labeled as noise. Let's zoom in to the downtown area to get a closer look at these density-based crime clusters. Another new tool that we added in this release is Summarize Center and Dispersion tool. This tool measures the distribution of a set of points to summarize the spatial characteristics such as central features and directional distributions. We can use this tool to answer questions like, where is the center? Are there any directional trend in my data? How dispersed or compact are my features? In our previous example, we have identified spatial clusters of the crime incidents. Now let's use the Summarize Center and Dispersion tool to see if there are any directional trend within each of the crime clusters. Since we do not want to include the points which are labeled as noise in our analysis, our first step is to filter out those points, which is uh, those are the points that is with cluster ID equals to minus one, so we'll filter those points out. Let's start the Summarize Center and Dispersion tool. Our input feature would be our uh, crime clusters. And for our purpose in this demo, we would like to measure the uh, directional trend in our features. To measure dispersion or compactness of features, we often calculate the standard distance, which is the average distance all features vary from the geographic mean center. A common way of measuring the trend for a set of points is to calculate the standard distance separately in the x and y directions. These two measures define the axis of an ellipse encompassing the distribution of features. So I choose the ellipse option. We can create the ellipses with 
one, two, or three standard deviations. I'm going to just stay with the one standard deviation uh, default. Since we would like to measure the uh, directional trend for each of our clusters, so we'll group by uh, cluster ID and go ahead and run the analysis. The ellipses created uh, from our analysis are now added to our map. We can clearly observe some directional trend uh, in the crime clusters that we created earlier uh, using the find point clusters tool. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration. Please try out the new tools and send us your feedback. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.